Hello everyone, Noel Christopher with Renters Warehouse. Quick message here. Well, the housing crash has arrived. According to Black Knight and Housing Wire, the home price appreciation in the month of November 2018 saw the slowest increase in appreciation since 2012. So what do we do? Well, I think we should start selling, sell your real estate, Now's the time to sell. If you own investment properties, don't buy. You need to sell. I don't think that's true to you. If you do, read between the lines. According to this article, not one single state had a decline in home price. They had a decline in the amount that it appreciated. So example, I think Washington went from 12 to 6%. Uh, Texas went from 10 to 6%. Geez, uh, Idaho is up 12%. So what it means is don't buy into the hype. Just because the housing market is leveled off isn't a bad thing. There's been some, a lot of people talk about affordability. It's something that I push back on a lot too. So there's been some affordability issues. What that means is we hit that point where the affordability and the house prices are, are intersecting. And so now the house prices are leveling off or the appreciation is leveling off so that people can afford to buy a house. It's not a bad thing. It's a sign of a healthy market. Everybody was, was freaking out about the market going up too fast and there'd be no affordability. Now the market slows down and starts to level off and people are saying it's crashing, but it's a good thing. Maybe houses will be a little bit more affordable, but it's not crashing. The housing market's not crashing. Will there be a recession? Maybe, probably, someday. Will there be a housing uh, market crash? Maybe, probably, someday, no telling. Uh, if you're an investor, what's wrong with uh, prices leveling off, making houses a little bit more affordable? If you're a homeowner, what's wrong with prices leveling off, making houses a little bit affordable? Uh, you know, you look at your local market, understand your local market. Don't be swayed by some of these articles talking about how bad the afford how bad the housing market is. Really understand what you're doing in investing. Really understand what you're doing in buying a house if you're going to live in it. It's okay. If you're in it for the long term, the 3% appreciation is great. I would be happy if it said 2% appreciation, the way the market's gone up lately. And I think it's probably going to level off a little bit more, and you're going to hear a lot more people talk about the housing market is cratering. It's not. If we're happy with 2 to 3% to three appreciation every year. That's what we should be happy with. And if you look at the long-term trends, you'll see that the housing market appreciates 2 to 3% over the long term. That's all I have to say. Thanks.